So, this morning I wake up in a worse state than Bill Cosby's conscience. Last night I was out for an absolute rager of a session with a few big names, but I'm not going to name drop, guys. Okay, uh, I will. I'm at a corporate doing the Europa with Lord Sugar from The Apprentice, and he is absolutely sinking the stouts. After a while I say, Sugar? Uh, I'm not saying that in an affectionate way, by the way, that's his, that's his surname. What do you say we get out of here and pay this town 24 karat gold? And before you could say two chancers, we're in a cab on the way to Ollie's. We stop on the way and pick up McElroy and Dornan, standard. Before we actually head into the club, Lord Sugar stops us on the way in for a pep talk and he says, Guys, you better not get in my way on the dance floor, because I'm about to sprinkle sugar all over this club. Banter merchant. I go up to the DJ, I need to really get this place buzzing for the big man. I take the microphone and go a cappella. Stand up for the Ulster men, stand up for the Ulster men, stand up. I'm up there for four hours. I'm in the booth at VIP. I'm on the shots, McElroy's on the shots, Dornan's on the shots, and Dame Mary Peters has joined us with some of her mates. They're definitely on the shots. Uh, four minxes, combined age of, of 4,550, sure. But they're still very much hashtag vintage minx. Anyway, the club's more packed than Kim Kardashian's Levi's at this stage. Me, McElroy and Dornan, or the Three Amigos as, as everybody calls us. L literally everyone calls us that. We're putting away more shots than the start of Saving Private Ryan. Dornan slips on his way up to the bar and McElroy cracks an absolute belter of a joke. Telling Jamie, no wonder you've been cast in the fall mate. B b because he he just fallen. I haven't laughed so hard since I heard Nuri's technically classed as a city. <laughs> Over to the dance floor and Lord Sugar is absolutely block out. He's doing the worm, and to be fair to him I've had to call Autoglass because he's absolutely smashing. Everyone stops and stands to applaud him. Uh, Lord Sugar, he does what he wants. Champ breaks out all over the club. So high on Mue and, and the energy of the place, Lord Sugar gets carried away and tries to grab a, a cheeky feel of Dame Mary Peters' bottom. Minus banter. I have to pull him to one side and say, Lord Sugar, I'm sorry, but on this occasion, you're tired. Go home, mate. McElroy chips in with, Oi, Alan, you've had a right fall from grace. And then he, he, he points at Dornan beside him. You know, because uh, Jimmy's in the BBC uh, drama, The Fall. Fall from... Copious amounts of banter. The whole club is in hysterics, and just as Big Alan's about to be escorted out, Dame Mary Peters gets in a time machine and goes back to the 1972 Olympics. She takes a bottle of Grey Goose in hand, cocks back the bicep, and absolutely launches it at Lord Sugar from The Apprentice. It hits him right in the noggin, and he goes down like a sack of spuds. The Dame pushes the DJ aside and takes the microphone. She says, guys, guys, I need a spoon, I need a spoon. What? And then a cheeky smile breaks out over her face. No word in that spoon, guys, because I've just spilled sugar all over the dance floor. Ha <laughs> ha! Dame Mary Peters, always a gold medalist in the Banter Olympics. Sure, you know yourself anyway.